welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a cream puff Christmas treat. And we're using store-bought cream puffs so it comes together super quick, no baking required. This is actually something I made when I was like 13 years old. It's officially called a croquem bush and usually use like sponge sugar, but here we just take these store-bought cream puffs and candy melts and put it all together into this fun little spin on a Christmas tree. So if you're looking for an architectural Christmas project other than the gingerbread house, then this is for you. And here's how I did it. Okay, so this is actually super simple as far as ingredients go. So I have these cream puffs that are already filled and they're frozen and I wanna work with them while they're frozen. So don't thaw them out before you start working. And then I have ca white candy melts. You could use any kind of candy melts or chocolate and that's our glue. And then at the end, I'm gonna decorate it. So I'll bring in a few more things, but these are the essential pieces pieces to make this tree. So I'm gonna start by taking my candy melts, melting them in the microwave. When you're melting these, make sure that you're just melting them um, for 30 second increments. So in the microwave, 30 seconds, pull it out, stir it, and so on. Um, if you just stick it in there for a couple minutes, it will probably burn. So I'll do that and I'll come back with some melted chocolate. All right, to get started here, I have my melted white chocolate and I have my cream puff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cream puff and I'm gonna be stacking them in that initial circle. And so I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna be gluing them, quote unquote, gluing them with my white chocolate to the board. So I'll just dip the bottom in it just a little bit. You don't need to go crazy. And then I'll stick it down. And then I'm gonna work my way in a circle here. Okay, so I have my first ring of cream puffs made and because they're frozen, they set, that white chocolate sets pretty fast. So I'm gonna move on to the next ring. When I put this next ring on, I'm gonna be alternating them or kind of putting them um, like on the crack here. So it's like kind of like we're building with Legos or something like that. Um, they'll just set in between the ones below it. And then as you put them on, you just wanna slightly put them to the inside so that it actually starts to create that cone shape that we want. Um, so let me work on my next ring. So again, I'm just dipping them. Again, not too much chocolate, but enough to glue it here and then placing it on and pushing it just a little bit inward and I'm gonna build up from here. Okay, so I have my next ring made. This one is not quite fitting in there right, but I think it's pretty level. So again, because these cream puffs are so frozen, sometimes um, when you're doing this, like when I made it, the cream puffs are scratch, you have to pop it in the freezer here and there to let those candy melt set up, but these um, frozen cream puffs kind of firm it up as you go. So I'm gonna make another round, and again, all I'm doing is getting a little bit of white chocolate on the bottom. I'm just scraping it off on the side of my bowl and popping it in between and putting it slightly um, inward. So you can see it here from the side, it's starting to build up. So I'm on about my third round of building, and now I'm gonna keep moving on to the fourth. Okay, so I'm starting to get up towards the top. So right now I'm just going to try to build it so it's as much of a tree shape as possible. Um, if you wanted it to be really perfect, they do sell like those styrofoam cones that can go like in the middle and then you just glue it to the cone. I hate buying extra stuff, so I love that you can make this without having like a special uh, styrofoam cone, but if you wanted it to be perfect, perfect, you could do that. So I'm gonna try to finish it up right now so that it has a nice tree top look. Okay, so I'm trying to get that tree shape, so just building this up. And it might not, well, it's not gonna be perfect, I can tell you that right now, but uh, yeah, I accept that, but I'll try to make it as much of a tree top kind of shape as possible. And I'm just about there, which is awesome. And I think I can tolerate one more on top. Put plenty of glue on that and slide that in. And that right there is the tree. Cute. So now I'm gonna decorate it. I wanted to pause and make a note. This tree has, I would say, a six inch diameter cross bottom. And I would say it's about a foot tall and that took 
about one and a half containers of these. These are from Walmart. They're like the only cream puffs I think Walmart sells. So anyway, um, if you're planning to make one for a six inch diameter and about a foot tall, maybe just a little bit more than that, and it took me a container and a half. You guys, the store-bought cream puffs are super awesome for this because I've made them from scratch before, which they taste great, but they it's hard for me to get them all consistently sized. So these are basically all the same size, so they work really well together. Okay, now let's go decorate. Okay, so I wanted some ornaments for my tree. So what I'm doing is I'm taking some candy melts and I'm just taking um, the melts themselves. I'm not melting them down and I'm going to use the flat side. There's kind of a rounded side and then a flat side. And I'm going to do a white chocolate drizzle um, using just leftover chocolate from um, the um, gluing. And I just popped it into a piping bag. You could just use a spoon, but I kind of like a little more. This one I did with a spoon and then I wanted it a little more exact for the rest of them. So just giving these a drizzle little ornament and yeah just something fun to decorate the tree with and then you could do so honestly like sky's the limit truly like that's why I love this as an alternative to a gingerbread house um but you can you know put some sprinkles on these you could do all different colors like there's so many options I think I'm gonna throw sprinkles these gold sprinkles on some of them and I'm gonna make a few more and then I'll put it all together on my tree. Okay, so I have got some melted um, green, well, there it is, melted green um, candy melts and I'm just gonna do a big long drizzle up and down the tree and then I'm gonna come in as it's setting, before it sets hopefully, and I'm gonna stick my ornaments in this green. I'm keeping it simple, again, like sky is truly the limit. Like I, I think this is a fun project and I think it'd be a fun project to get everybody to do. Um, like, just like gingerbread houses. All right, so I'm gonna go up and down the tree with this long drizzle here. Now this is plugged up. Okay, there it is. And I'm just gonna keep drizzling. And then um, before this all sets up, I'm gonna come in with my ornaments. And kind of have to be patient because it's easy to drizzle the top. The little puffs themselves aren't as easy. So kind of have to get in there. And if you move up and down the tree a little bit, that can help too. So again, I've said it several times, I'm coming in with my ornaments. And if they're not sticking, I'll just add a little bit of candy melts to the back. Oops. Let's see. And it's a great way to kind of hide any of those holes in the tree. And if you see a spot, like I see this is kind of a dry spot, I can either drizzle more on there or I can just, whoops take um, the back of my candy melt and stick a little um, of this green on there. You can use any color, obviously it's going on the back, but melted is the key part. And just sticking that ornament on there. And I'm just gonna keep working on this tree. All right, you guys, here she is. Oh, Christmas tree. Super cute, super quick. Honestly, I was shocked. I've made one before from scratch. You guys using the store-bought ones, the way to go and so many possibilities you can make so many fun different types of ornaments you also can make an edible tree topper like oh also wouldn't it be cute if you strung like the little fairy lights around it anyway perfect centerpiece to your um holiday dessert table or a fun family activity super cute and super quick all right i hope you enjoyed that video i hope you give this a try super easy or easier than expected right so um, if you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.